Well, it is a story more than six years in the making. This is Blossom Flower. She's a Yorkie that went missing six years ago. Six years. <laughs> Flash forward to today. Dog's back home now with her owners. Jacqueline Francis live tonight with a pretty incredible reunion. If that dog could only talk, Jacqueline. Devin, if that dog could talk, she would say I'm home. Spending time with Blossom today, you'd never know she spent six years away from her family. Take a look. Every dog has its day, and for Blossom, it was this week. Her story starts in 2017, when she disappeared from her family's Detroit backyard. Seven-year-old Dallas was devastated, her mom by her side. I had to literally coax her out of bed and tell her that Blossom wouldn't want her to live like this. She has to go on with life. You know, we'll just pray that she's in a better place. So we purchased a marker for her. We have it in a, on the mantelpiece. And it's a little circle with a paw print, and it says gone but not forgotten. They never did forget Blossom, and it turns out Blossom never forgot them. Six years later, the phone rang. And he said, yes, this is Romulus um, Animal Shelter, and we're calling because we found your dog. And I kind of paused for a moment to think like my dog, and I was like, I said, you're, you're effing kidding me. Is what I said. You're effing kidding me. It wasn't a joke. Someone had seen the toy Yorkie on the side of the road. Matted and unkempt, they took the dog to the shelter. Because Blossom was chipped, the family's info popped up right away. Blossom. Dallas's mom wanted it to be a surprise, taking her now teenage daughter to reclaim their dog after six long years. They found her. Hi, Blossom. She knows. Hi. And he said, we found your dog. And that's when I just started to break down. Cry. <laughs> Cause I, I couldn't believe it. And I know exactly who they were talking about. Blossom. It was like no time had passed. When she first seen us, her little tail just started to wag really fast. And I was like, she definitely remembers this. Their family now complete. And to have her back is nothing short of a miracle. It looks like Blossom spent some time on the streets. Her fur was matted and her eye infected, but nothing that her family can't take care of. We're live in Detroit, Jacqueline Francis, Local 4. Uh, unfortunately, Blossom can't tell us, but do we know where Blossom has been all this time? I mean, there will always be some mystery to it, but it seems like there was an owner in between because when they found Blossom, her ears and her tail were cropped. That wasn't ah. the case before. So it looks like there was an owner, but again, we'll never know. Wow, what a mystery, but what an amazing finish to the story. All right, Jacqueline.